Greetings fellow modelers. Today we'll be looking at one of the famous Wildcats. This is the F9F6 Cougar from the Quick Build series. This should be fun, so buckle up and let's begin. Fiddler's Green, go online. It's an awesome place to be for anyone who wants to build a model. And here we have the Cougar. You can see the upper wings. This is how the typical cross section is. You see the stabilizer, the lower section of the wing, the nose cone, and the main fuselage. Then the tail. And of course, we have the engine jet exhaust, the main landing gear. And here is a rough idea of how to assemble your model. Pay attention to the tail pipe that goes into the rear fuselage to complete it. So, if you have 160 gram cardstock, perfect to print on. However, just simply glue the two bond sheet together. And here are the materials I work with. The glue, stick, glue, metal ruler, tweezers a must. My X-Acto knife and other sharp blades and toothpick. So let's just cut out the parts. Now remember, I said we double it using our glue stick to stick the bond sheet together to this one to form a thicken of cardstock. And cut out the wheels, the different parts, and we just put them aside. So it will be easier for us to focus on when we are ready to build each section. Let's get to it. Nose cone assembly. Now you have to remember that this model is not 100% accurate. So you see what I do here to form the nose. Practice make perfect. So print several nose if you can and practice on how to cut them out. And eventually you get the one you like. So here's how I form my nose. I use the brush handle and roll as you see here. And then I roll the main area. So this way, the nose will already be shaped to take the curve. Little glue. And we hold that part together. And then, as you will see, it just takes a little time and patience. Now, even if you see a few minutes here, it took me probably 20 minutes, 30 minutes to get the nose done. And here you see I'm putting glue on the inside and now I'm cutting strips. These strips now I'll put on the inside to help strengthen where the joints are. In this video, I have made the nose of the F9F Cougar blunt. If you actually look on the models, they are a lot more pointed. So bear that in mind. Here you see I put in some of the joints, a little bit of crazy glue, try to smooth it over, and we get a basic structure. Now remember, this took me about probably 15, 20 minutes. So take your time, practice, and you'll get it right. And there you go. Let's tackle the rest of the fuselage. The main fuselage assembly is pretty neat, pretty straightforward. We just cut out what we need to cut out. And the joiners, we spend the time to cut it according to how it's shaped here. And here's the thing, one minute you'll find me using the X-Acto knife to get the cuts, next minute you'll find me using the scissors. Whatever you do, try to keep your workstation clean. And use a paintbrush handle to roll it. We glue the tab and pretty much we're going to join this part to the nose. Check the alignment at the bottom. That's a real good way to identify 
what's going on. And then we just continue straight forward with the rest of the fuselage this way. Check that the insignia of the, the US insignia lines up with each part. And check that the insignia lines up. Look at the top where the anti glare is. Just make sure it's all lined up. And use your paintbrush. Roll the fuselage in a really cool way. And continue gluing. Like I said, it's pretty neat, pretty straightforward. I like the Cougar family. <laughs> I will look and see what other models I can build from Grumman. It's really interesting what the ironworks have produced, which culminated, I think, in the F-14 Tomcat. Make sure we align. And of course, our kit tool to press out and smooth out the joints in whatever way possible. Now remember, Fiddler's Green Kit may not be 100% accurate, but it sure is easy to put together to some degree, and it teaches you a lot about basic paper construction. So here's the technical part. The rear fuselage and the rudder fin assembly. So now that we have got it, look at what I use the paintbrush handle to do. So I fold, I rolled, actually, that's how I would do the main fuselage, and then I go on the outside. And pay attention carefully to what I do here. I put a slight indentation on either side, and that's how we form it. Use a back side of our blade to score so we can fold over glue together this area and voila pretty much we have our rear fuselage using our tweezer as usual to get the proper curve and we take our time again it's a few minutes of video here, but this overall model took me about four hours. Four, four hours. And of course we now trim because of course model is not 100% accurate. Now we join the main fuselage to the tail section. Make sure the lines are aligned. and then we press comfortably into place. And there we have a basic fuselage. Now don't worry about the white parts what's showing through. We'll clean that up when it comes to finishing. So the engine exhaust is a simple cutout, roll, glue to form a circle. And then we tack carefully into place. hold glue we do a quick test fit put it in place and then tack one side using super glue good nice fit tack the other side and in finishing we'll paint the underside the inside nice canopy so here's the deal look at what I do and you should form a nice canopy. If you like what you have seen so far, I really appreciate you leaving a comment. Let me know what more would you like to see built. I'm trying to see how much model of Fiddler's Green I can do while I do the other more accurate models. It's fun. And if you like what you see so far, please consider subscribing. Also, I just started Patreon. I'm not 100% sure of 
everything that I'm doing. But one thing I do know, I want as much persons as who feel free possible to be a part of the whole building team. So in the future, it is like sponsoring a model. And say so this model is brought to you by, and then I'll list the Patreon members. It should be fun. I hope. So let me know what you think about that also. So here is it. We're now going to put the canopy and the main fuselage. It's just to do a dry fit, looking good. We then glue. And then when we are sure 100% what we want, we tack in place with super glue. There you go. Looking pretty nice. And now the wing assembly. So pay attention, this is a bit more technical, especially now that you have to make sure you integrate the exhaust. So we cut out all our parts, yes? Now pay attention to where the fold is along that dotted line. Put in a little curve. We fold these areas again. Now this is the underside, yes? You can see where the landing gear area is. Now, we apply glue to where the tabs are. And here's a challenging part now. Pay attention carefully to how I join the wing. Now, some of it is going to be out of alignment and you can trim at the end, but look at the engine intake section, carefully how I formed it. And it's gonna take a while, but if you look, you can get it. This is how I did it. I hope this helps someone, but that's how I did it. And then we join it to the fuselage. Check the alignment. And then we tack in place with super glue until the main glue dries. You see how the wing panels align at the top? You check that carefully. And we tack the underside also, and then we start trimming. We simply repeat the process with the other side. Make sure that the tail is joined properly and bam, we have a cougar. Stabilizer, pretty straightforward. We just cut the parts out. We fold along the lines we're supposed to fold. using a straight edge ruler. There you go. Glue the tail section. What I didn't show is that I usually rest the model on the board so that we make sure that it's accurate like a straight edge where we glue. And we put in our toothpick there. Do a test fit, we glue both sides. Use a tweezer to hold in place. Now that toothpick you see I put in there, besides adding rigidity to the tail, it also makes sure it's very even. Wheel assembly. Now the landing gear I actually put on card stock. So literally it is a 160 gram card stock and then I paste the bond paper to it what half the design. Pour a little hole there, put in a strip of toothpick that I whittle down, fold over, check it, and then glue into position. And this I do to all three landing gear wheels and strut. Crazy glue him there in, and repeat the process for where the wing is.
I just want to thank each and every one of you if you have made it this far for your support. It is a little over a year since I've started and your support has been tremendous and I'm really grateful for all the friends I have made online. Truly, it is a special community of modelers. By the way, you see what I'm doing here? I'm adding weight to the model nose so it stays there. And so the finishing is pretty decent. Here you see, I try to get the color roughly close to what I want and then I use cotton to sort of rub it into the model itself. And I paint the edges where the white shows through. And yeah, there's your model. Take your time and have fun with it. And of course, painting the engine exhaust. And here we go. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you like what you see. I hope you consider Patreon and even subscribing and liking. It really does help. So until then, my friends, take care, walk good, be gentle with yourself, and one love.